Right, this is the last episode of the Cape York series. Now, if you hadn't, if you've watched the last three, they're the three episodes you need to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and follow the three businesses to win yourself some awesome prices. It's the biggest giveaway I've ever done on my channel. So make sure you follow those three people on Instagram. Link in the description to the giveaway below. Biggest giveaway I've ever done, guys. Make sure you get into it and win some awesome prizes. Peace. Alrighty guys, here we are, another episode of Days Off Adventures. Today we're doing part two of the telly track. Super excited. We've got the big rigs here and what hey? You got the wrong camera. Oh, bro. Sorry, what I was saying anyway, we got Are you for real? The telly track. We're YouTubers just grab any camera and just start talking. So we're doing part two of the telly track, guys. This is gonna be an awesome episode. Strap yourself in because there's a bit of panel damage, a bit of flooding. It's got everything. You just need to sit back and relax and watch it. It's definitely a bit of a gnarly, tight track in. A few bush pinstripes on the old uh, cruiser. And I think we're checking out the infamous gunshot. That's gunshot there. Huh, you mean the gunshot? The OG the gunshot is so gone. Palm Creek is the only gunshot. So Palm Creek's the new gunshot. Straight down that one. We can make that. That's crazy. Because this was the main track. You come down here, that was all filled in. And then it was a big drop. Where? It used to drop down here. Oh, right. They've like completely changed it all. That doesn't, it looks sketchy, but it doesn't look as sketchy, eh? Oh, Jesus. What what big logs in it. The weather Who would put logs in a damn crossing? Nah, they, Some people like they would do such a thing. I, don't know, man. <laughs> I think this one's going to be the better one. Definitely gonna be the better one. It's still gonna be sketchy on the way down, but well, this is interesting. Gunshot, the original gunshot is uh, no longer. It's amazing, like wet season, what people have done to get this track open because they've had a real bad wet season this year. So it's gonna be real interesting today. A few gnarly exits. Don't really know how any we're gonna do do what we need to do. Look, even this one's. <laughs> Holy, that's tight, eh? Hey, Darcy, nice shirt. Thanks, man. <laughs> so we're just sussing out a plan of attack. I kind of want to try one of the harder lines, but there's this easy line here, but there's a lot of water, and um, I don't know. What do you reckon? Line over there, easy. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a steep hill, but yeah, much water. Yeah. Go check the bottom for um. How but sloppy the, it is. Yeah, pretty much just check bottom how sloppy it is really. But um other than that, that at least it's a bit of you know, a bit of excitement. So I've decided to go first to try this um I guess new gun new line and gunshot. I don't see it being too difficult. Obviously there's always a bit of a steep angle and it's always a bit of danger, but I just I'm just keen. Keen to get it done with. I'll sit on the other side and watch the others. Let's do it. I'm on my door. I'm on my door. I'm on my door. Alright, not touching very much. 
probably just going to have to give it a little bit of mumbo. A little bit of left hand down. Matty, there's a tree right in front of me. Do we fucking hook the winch up? Right down the bottom of that tree. Do you reckon it'll hold? Just to pop me out? Just to pop me out? Let's run it. Oh, <laughs> that's right. The is gonna kill me! <laughs> you got good. Oh man. The guinea pig goes again. Here I was. Now I'll be tough and deadly. Mm -hmm. I'll do it first go. <laughs> you were really stoked on it too. I was, I was like, I'll go first. I do. Like, it is not that bad. No. Nah. I can still open the door. Yep. A little bit of fucking how you going here. Perfect. To be honest, you'll good. never fix that. No, all you're gonna do is put flares on. Yeah. Cover it. No, you get that bit of. Yeah. You respray it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get any panel damage, mate. Damn it. No, I think I did. <laughs> you want to come and have a look at my panel damage? You get some? Yeah. There, bud. Oh, yeah. That's a scratch. It's a scratch point. <laughs> oh, we got matching. <laughs> matching. Right, everyone, I need to pause the video there. I need to give a massive shout out to Vast Explore, the guys behind my water tank here. Man, you, you guys have seen me use it, and it's in. I've been talking about it, and I talk about it to all of my friends. That's because it is an absolute banger of a product. Now, when I was on Cape, when we were doing the tally track, that thing was so bloody handy, easy to fill up, and didn't leak one bit. <laughs> Not on any corrugations. The bracketry that has been used for this thing is super, super strong. I can tell you that firsthand. Not one thing has broken from the PDR. And I've had other things break on my car from the PDR. And this water tank and its bracketry has actually stood the test of Cape York. It gets the Cape York tick of approval. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Make sure you guys follow them on their social medias. And if you want a water tank, hit them up. So what do you do? How do you reckon Maddie's going to go? I don't know, it's a big, big heavy thing, but it seems chewed out, and if he's happy to do this line over the other one, then... <laughs> After seeing someone get panel damage? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, there's less panels on that thing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Nabs, nah, move out of it, mate. Why sponsored? Whoa, that's insane. Nabs out, mate, out. There you go. He only just hit the rooftop. You know? Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. Patriot Camper, down gunshot. Yes, Love Patriot man. Camper, down gunshot, reasonably unscathed. This little unit is a weapon. Ultimate touring machine, the 79. Let's go. Yeah, hey. let's go, let's go. <laughs> so gunshot done and dusted onto some waterfalls and creeks for a swimming and a nice afternoon camp. Good talk, Davo. Good talk. <laughs> nah, it was awesome. Uh, it got a little bit hairy there for us, but the Toyota just absolutely just taking us everywhere. Mm -hmm. Making you want to buy a Toyota, mate? Uh, maybe a Lutzy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to wreck my Emmett Rock. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bit late. Hey, fruit bat falls. Let's get it. Yeah. Wow, what a day. Elliot Falls, Fruit Bat Falls, all in one day, as well as continuing on the tally track. I am absolutely knackered. Um, I dare say we're gonna find camp after Elliot, Fall, uh, after Elliot Falls here. Um, I think the guys might be trying to head into Twin Falls at the moment. I'm just too tired, <laughs> I really am tired. It's been a massive day just trying to um, solve this gremlin of uh, 12 volt. Um, keep going on about it, but it's pretty important. It's good all our food and trying to keep it cool. And Because there's gonna be a time where Davo and I aren't with anyone, like we'll be breaking away from the group in the next couple of days. So it's definitely something that um, we need to sort out. I think uh, depending, depending on what time we get into camp tonight, try and have a look at it today or tomorrow everything's still working it's just that I'm not getting a full charge in but um it's just something I'm stressing about at the moment but other than that it's been it's been a gnarly trip I've got a few battle scars on, on the rig but oh I didn't even see that actually um bent my exhaust tip the old workhorse <laughs> it is doing great things can't complain about the car and complain about my driving though. All right, I'm gonna check back in when we hit the camp. See you then. How do you feel about conquering gunshot today? Oh man, this is so good. <laughs> oh man, I'm just so, so stoked. I that wish I could have filmed it. I was, um, I hate to rub salt in the wound, but I'm just fucking happy I didn't break anything. Yeah, oh, I didn't, oh, I, I didn't break anything, I just, um, scratched, scratched up. Yeah, yeah, well, you, yeah. Could like, have been a lot worse. To be honest, when you do the tele when you do the tele track, you're gonna get damaged. Like, yeah. if you don't get damaged, you've done something's gonna go wrong. Well. Something's gonna scratch. You're gonna lose a mirror. Every single one in our convoy did damage last year. So yeah. it's just something that happens. You know, and a couple everyone... hundred k's of tight, windy roads. You're mm. gonna fucking scratch something. You're That's exactly pinched. right. That's exactly. It is right. what it is. But the challenger, the little. I'm glad I didn't break it. The unsung hero. I'm glad it's still driving. Had gremlins in it this morning. Oh, at the start of the trip, and then they just decided to go away. Yeah, and look, I don't know what happened. I think it got a little bit of water in the intake, or or maybe it's got a bit of dust in it, and I banged it out. But it's running all right now. And I don't even know. Maybe I'll go to Fink. <laughs> maybe I will. You're wearing the right shirt, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, lad. <laughs> Right well, guys, I need to give a massive shout out to A2 Off-Road. You know the deal. They are the one-stop shop for all your four-wheel drive needs, from accessories to performance to suspension to GVM upgrades. Whatever you need for your four-wheel drive, go hit them up. Link is in the description below. Let's get on with the video. So we're day three into our tally track journey. 
and uh, we pulled up at a place called, I think it's Canal Creek. Mate, every waterhole up here is just so beautiful, you just want to hop in. Um, we've got a couple of big crossings today, I'm a little bit worried. My 12 volt gremlins are really coming out to burn me today. It's, it's, it's hard to film and talk when there's so much going on, and there is a lot going on for the track itself, concentrating on driving. Again, I'm trying to do my best to capture everything, but also give you guys updates on what we're doing and where we are. So, look at this place. Beautiful waterfalls everywhere. Beautiful creeks, crystal clear. So now we're gonna pack up camp. I think this is the last stretch before Nolan's and Sam's Creek and Logan's. Oh, not really keen for water crossings, but it has to happen to finish it. So let's get into it. Keep going, keep going, and straighten up now. Yep. Good. Who's got chainsaws? No one. No one. <laughs> wow. Everyone's just deciding a game plan. Because, um... That's <laughs> mad, eh? The thing is, all, any of these uh, ratchets snap while yeah. rolling over them. That's it, those logs are going to spread out, the tires are just going to drop down, and you'll never get out of that. That's straight down, yeah. so it gets a heart.
So part of the fun, eh? Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Sam, yeah. Thanks so, for bringing me. I didn't bring you. You drove yourself. It's all <laughs> you, man. I did all the crossings. That was insane. What a trip. Yeah. And now we're here. The easy bit done. Now you got to get home. You you walk walk <laughs> Darcy with his little mountain goat. Mountain goat. Oh yeah. Go the, up for the challenger. And then Michael, my fellow petty. Yeah. What a trip. Everything went well. Everything went well. It's like when we got to like when we got to Bamagal, it was just like so much more relaxed. Like I was like, yep. Yeah, Everything's working, everything's going the way it should. My 12 volts has fixed itself, it's running mint now. Oh no. The batteries are back to normal, everything's back to normal. I'm at um I'm at about 60%, which is still good. I was only at 40% yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a bit of solar. We had a good sun today. We'll take that as a win. We'll take that as a win. Now we're walking to the tip. This is it. Yeah, we're gonna go over yeah. that hill. Hopefully the wind dies down for that split second so I can get the drone up and uh, have a bit of a shot. In here. Ah. I've been with you for fucking on the way to the tip, too many days. Hey, too many days. We're on the way to the tip. I need a break from you. Ah, no way. <laughs> we stink still brothers. Days? Stink brothers. <laughs> we, still, <laughs> we still got like four days left of the trip. So it'll be me and Davo heading back down to Which is what we've always wanted the no. whole time. <laughs> God, God. So here it is. We're at the tip. Davo's tip. Hey, Woo. finally get to see my tip. <laughs> hey. That's what the audience wanted to see, apparently. <laughs> nice but, um, walk after a long drive. What? Beautiful drive in Were though. Were you driving? Beautiful drive in though. Were you driving? I was playing Bokduku. <laughs> <laughs> Never took the Ooh, passenger seat. Yeah. But guess what? He's going to be driving all of the way home. Go okay, touch it. Go uh, touch wait, it. Wait, wait for it. And there she is in all her glory. Made it. Ah! Holy. Done some things in my time, but Cape York is definitely a massive tick off the list. Very big experience. Whew. I think uh, it's time to sign out. What an epic way to sign out, right at the tip of Cape York, tip of Australia. Got to get out there and do it, guys. Look at it, a bit windy, but what an absolute gem. The things, the things you see and do. Glad I got to do it with you. Yeah, and conquer. Woo! What a trip, eh? What a trip, eh? Hey. What an epic experience. That whole telegraph cheers, mate. The whole track to get through it all and then get up the top of Australia. Yeah, like, it's crazy, eh? Hey. Yeah, crazy. It's surreal. No, it's good.